Good evening, everybody. Jason Burn here for Mile Split. Um, I'm running uh, Race Tab version 3.77, which uh, I just released. Um, and as most of you know by now, uh, this is a steady march to what we're going to call 4.0. So really, I'm kind of considering this the 4.0 generation. Um, and I want to show you the a new feature in this that we came out with, um, which is our bib number application, um, which is not in the Android market store, Play Store yet, but um, it will be, and it will be in the Chromebook, uh, Chrome OS uh, store that you can install on your Chrome browser or on your Chromebook. Um, and uh, if you have an Apple device, well, get a better device. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you can run it in the web browser, and I'm actually going to run it in a web browser here. Um, so anyway, I've, what I got set up here is just a really simple um, road race, and um, all I've got basically is one event, and I've got some fake athletes created with bib numbers 1 to 100. So what I'm going to do is, is pretend like I'm switching over here to my uh, my tablet PC. This is kind of a browser window shaped like a tablet. So also run on your phone or on a computer like I'm doing now. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're connect, going to connect to Race Tab. And if you haven't already seen this before, back in Race Tab, you got this icon up here. If you click on that, it's going to tell you the IP address port it's running on. So Race Tab is actually running a local server on your network. So um, connected over the Wi-Fi is how it, all these are talking together. Um, so we click Connect, and uh, then we have some options here. We're going to click New Session, and then we're going to choose our event. What this is is a is a, is a little keypad to into your uh, into your bib numbers. So on a tablet or phone you're going to do this with your finger. The basic idea is um, you got somebody in, at, the, at the end of your finish line right now who's got a spindle and is tearing off uh, the bib numbers and putting them on the spindle. Um, that's prone to error in case they drop it or screw them up um, or switch them. Um, you know, you get which shoot was first, all those kind of questions. Um, and also it's time consuming because you got to scan each of them or type them. Um, what we want to do is speed that process up. So I suggest still keeping that spindler doing that same thing as the backup and make the primary somebody with this application who's entering bib numbers. So what they're going to do is as they exit the shoot, they're just going to record their bib. So we got bib number 12, bib number 32, bib number 45, 11, 65, so on. So we're um, uh, bib number 6, 23. Um, hopefully I didn't have a duplicate here. I'm not really keeping track and I got to build in some duplicate detection. That's probably the next thing I need to do. Anyway, so we type in those bib numbers and then when we're done, we click done. And it asks you to give it a name, which by default is the name of the event and the time. And then we have these options here. We can send it to Race Tab. We can email it. It will email. Just put that into an email file. We can save it to our local uh, SD card or, or file system. Um, it's also already saved in the app uh, for later. We can also view it, delete it, or go back to the list. If we view it, we can see those bib numbers we recorded. And um, we go back, we can click send to race tab, it says sent. If we go back into race tab and I click on events, and I click on time slash bibs, I'm going to see that right here. This is that session that I just saved. We see it says it's bib numbers, um, and there's the name. So we can choose what event we want to import it into. We click apply to event, and boom, it brought in all of those athletes based on those bib numbers that we entered. Um, of course, we can do the same thing for time. So that what you'd normally do is you have your times imported from other some other solution, uh, or using the race tab stopwatch, which is what I'll do real quick just to show you um, an example. So let's just whatever we go there, start, and how many we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight finishers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I forgot to set it at sixteen. Whatever. Um, click apply to current event and boom there's all those and so they've imported our bib numbers and our times are matched up perfect